Okay, so as you guys can see on the table, what we are looking at is $100 worth of Canadian dollars. The loony. Now, if you guys follow my main channel, I talk about digital assets and cryptocurrencies every single day. And I got to tell you guys, growing up in Canada, I guess, I guess being Canadian, I tend to overlook how beautiful this $1 loony actually is. And whether you believe that over the next few years, the world is going to transition from fiat currency to digital assets, cryptocurrency, possibly Bitcoin, possibly Ethereum, possibly BNB. If in fact the world heads down that road, I think that the Canadian dollar, the loony, is going to be a token, or sorry, not a token, a coin that will become very collectible. And only recently, I've learned to appreciate how beautiful this $1 Canadian dollar actually really is. Look how shiny it is. So a little history about the loony. The loony replaced the $1 bill in 1987. And from 1987 to 2001, this loony was made up of 91.5% nickel and the other 8.5% of bronze plating. And from 2007 to 2011, some coins used a brass plating instead. And so in the present day, as we stare at this newly nice shiny 2018 Canadian dollar loony, from 2012 to the present time, they switched over to a steel brass plating, which gave it this shiny glow. And as you can see, this 2018, we are now in 2022, four years later, is still shining very nice because of that steel and brass plating. And to be honest, guys, as I was saying, only recently have I learned to appreciate how beautiful this $1 Canadian dollar loony actually really is. And so you can see that some of my coins are shining, but some of those in that stack have that uh, bronze plating and have a darker shade. I can actually pull out this one right here and you can see that this one goes all the way back to 1993. And what's interesting about the Canadian dollar is in 1990, they started minting some of the loonies where the queen wearing the king's crown. As you can see, the queen is wearing the king's crown in this loony. Whereas if I pull up the 1918 or the 2018, you can see that the queen is not actually even wearing a crown at all. There are some where she's also wearing the queen's crown. But in this 1993 coin right here, you can see she is wearing the king's crown. And when these first started to surface in 1990, a lot of people thought that they were holding a rare coin that was an accidental mint. But as the years progressed, we know now that it became somewhat common. And I don't know when they stopped minting these dollars with the queen not wearing the king's crown. But although what you read on the internet says that they're not very the most common dollar to find the queen wearing the king's crown. Out of this whole stack, I'm telling you guys right here, there's $100 on the table. This was the only one that I could find where the queen was still wearing the king's crown. And as mentioned at the beginning of my video, I talk about digital assets and cryptocurrencies every single day on my other channel. And whether you believe, as we are here in the year 2022, that over the next few years, the world will transition from fiat money to digital assets to cryptocurrencies, I think that the Canadian loony will stick around and become a collector's piece if in fact that happens. I do remember over 10 years ago when they started recalling the one cent penny and now we no longer have the one cent penny. Now, I don't know if a lot of people decided to keep any of those around. I wouldn't see why they would be collector's items. But if in fact the Canadian Mint or the central bank decides to recall the loony and we head in a direction where digital assets and cryptocurrencies replace fiat, I think the Canadian dollar is going to stick around as a collector's piece. On camera, you can see how the steel brass plating shines. And I mean, if I pull out a 24 karat 9999 fine gold bar from the TD Canada Trust, and I place it beside my Canadian loony right there with the brass steel plating. I mean, you can tell the difference between 24 karat gold and brass plating, but... You can't say that the, you can't say that that loony is not shining right beside that gold bar right there. 
Anyways, guys, those are my Canadian dollar loonies. Catch you in the next one.